Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to our sports show. I'm your host, Robert Allwright, from the independent scene to the main event of WrestleMania. Cover it all here on Robert Sports Show. So we got a couple shows from this past week in GCW. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and cover here. One is going to be The Sky is the Limit, and the other one's going to be You Only Die Once. I know right now... Um, GCW No Signal in the Hills 4 is on Thriller TV from Los Angeles on the Ukrainian Cultural Center. And then tomorrow is GCW Save Me. I will get both of those watched over the next couple days and get those up Monday, Tuesday-ish. And then next weekend we have GCW Homecoming Day 1 and 2 from Atlantic City. Um, so yeah, a lot of GCW shows coming up. Everything from 2023 and 2024, every show. I have reviewed here in Robert's, on Robert's Sports Show, so we're going to run down these two from this past week, two of the three from the Tokyo sh show, the DDT GCW Never Any Noisy Story 2 is already up, or sorry, um, Never Any Noisy Story is already up, uh, that was up on, looks like a couple days ago, there. it's on the 14th, so these are the shows from the 17th and 8th, or sorry, the 13th and 14th. Um, so the first one here is going to be GCW The Sky is the Limit. First match on the card was Mia Yamashita taking on Broski and Jimmy. Broski Jimmy cutting his promo saying how he's going to beat Mia Yamashita and that he's the deathmatch prince or whatever he's calling himself because he's been hanging out with Matt Cardona. And goes out there and loses in a seven minute match to Mia Yamashita. It was pretty darn epic. Um, the fact that uh, it was a good match though. It's seven minutes. I give it three star. Mia getting the victory there. Uh, next up, we have the GCW Extreme Title Line. We have champion Mikey Ito taking on the great, great Shasky. Um, yeah, this match, it is the, for the Extreme Title. Now, it wasn't as extreme as you think it would be because it is your extreme title. Um, Maki Ito was just grinding on the arm of Great Sasuke a few times. We got a couple chairs. I mean, it wasn't a lot of violence. The big, biggest violent spot of this match was when, when um, Ma, uh, Mika, uh, yeah, Ma, Maki Ito pulled out her cutest, pie, her cutest pizza cutter and start slicing on the great Sasuke. I thought that was kind of cool. Every time I, every time I see a pizza cutter either from me, uh, from Maki Ito or from Nick Gage, the only thing I can think of, and I still talk about it to people, was the match on Dynamite with Nick Gage and Chris Jericho and Nick Gage is slicing Jericho with a pizza cutter and it's picture in picture and it's a Domino's commercial. I still find that spot hilarious. I'm thinking to myself, man, the people at TNT need to really pay attention to what's going on when you do picture in picture, because that is really not the commercial you would want during this match. Um, but this match was okay, a little less than 12 minutes. I ended up giving it three and a quarter with Maki Ito getting the victory there. Uh, next up, we had Marcus Matthews, Mathers, and Joey Janela, the bad boy. A great match. We had two different styles here. Marcus Mathers more the dives and high risk maneuvers versus the bad boy Joey Janela, who's more the mat base, catches cast can kind of guy. Uh, Joey Janela getting the victory in less than 20 minutes. Nice little 20 minute match, 1937 to be exact. I ended up giving it three and a half star. Next up, we had a very interesting. Very interesting match. We had Thrusty, I like that, Star Sheik, and Effie taking on Aja Kong, Mayo, and um, Mahashi Tesco. Tesco. I'm good, I'm not great at these Japanese names. That's why I don't do a lot of pro wrestling, Noah, or DDT. Um, this match was all about devastating moves. You had quite a few from Mayo and Aja Kong and her dominance, and then there were some chairs in it from Bussy, or Thrusty, excuse me, and it was just one of those kind of off-the-wall kind of crazy matches. Um, it lasted a little over 10 minutes with uh, Dark Sheet getting the pin on Aja Kong. 
I ended up giving it three and a quarter star. Next up, we had Danhausen taking on Katoro. <laughs> you had Katoro come in, come in. He tried to wipe the face off of Danhausen, the makeup and stuff. You had Danhausen trying to put a, a spell on Katoro. It was just a combination of that kind of stuff. Just really wasn't a match, more than just a, kind of a play, kind of a, kind of screwing around. Um, I ended up giving it two and a half. Technically, Danhausen won the match, but it really wasn't a match. And so Dan Housen get the victory there. Next up, we had a intergender tag match. We had Masha Slamovich teaming up with Rina Yamashita, um, taking on Gringo Loco and Violent Jack. Um, these four took it to one another. Ooh, what a match! You had Masha and Rina. Just one hell of a tag team. I mean, beating down Viol Valento Jack, beating down Gringo Loco, and just a hell of a wrestling match between these four. Three and a half star with the women of Masha Slamovich and Rina Yamashita getting the victory. Main event was for the GCW World Heavyweight title. Two members of Second Gear, formerly of Second Gear Crew, champion Mance Warner taking on one called Manders. This was a bloodbath with chairs. We actually had a table. So in, G in, in GCW, typically we have doors. We have chairs. We make a door bridge. And those are what we use as tables. Because we were in Japan, we had actual tables that don't like to break. And so they didn't want to break at first. And the chairs, I mean, we busted people open with these chairs. We had a bloody mess. Both guys were bloody. Both guys were just like trying to tear the tar out of one another. Again, Mance turned on Second Gear Crew. Man, one man called Manders, Matthew Justice, and the family of Second Gear Crew, Effie and Alley Catch and everyone. And the fact that Mance not only turned on Second Gear Crew, he went with Matt Cardona, who was against Second Gear, who was against Effie and all them. Um, so you just had this civil war almost break out with these two. Um, one hell of a match. Mance Warner retaining his GCW world title. Ended up giving a match three and three quarters. So it was match of the night. Probably one of the best matches of the weekend of the uh, Japanese tour. Um, so that was Sky is the Limit. So stay tuned to our sports show. And I will review the You Only Die Once. So that is Robert's Sports Show from the independent scene to the main event of WrestleMania. Don't just have a great evening. Have a spiffy night. Robert's Sports Show, your YouTube leader, Sports Channel Content.